Here's a typical case. This lady lingered on Terry Scott's front porch, took a quick look over her shoulder, and then took off with two packages delivered just eight minutes earlier. It's, it just makes you angry that someone would come up on your property and just take something. And it's like, well, it's a free for all, so it's outside, so it doesn't matter. And it's like, no, it, it, I'm sorry, but it's not your property. Here's another porch pirate at a different home. This one wore a hoodie and looked down so the camera wouldn't catch his face. I was quite surprised at the number of thefts that happened on porches and going up and down and more and more people have video doorbells and they're like, hey, have you seen this person? And it's like, that was like down the street. And it's like, oh, it never happened to me. And then it's like, it, does, it did happen to me and I can't believe it in broad daylight. Here's part of the problem. If you steal a piece of mail delivered by the U.S. Postal Service, it's theft of mail matter, a felony. But if you steal a box delivered by Amazon, UPS, or another private carrier, it's just a misdemeanor. The bill pre-filed by David Yates, a senator, would change that. Fortunately, there's a loophole in the law right now, and criminals are taking advantage of it. Yates says by changing the law, prosecutors will have a stronger tool to break up organized crime rings, and victims will no longer have to go downtown and swear out a warrant to initiate an investigation. Uh, so I'm being called by constituents. They're telling them to go down and swear warrants trying to do that. Well, you know, if, if it's your fifth or sixth Amazon package, maybe you do, but nothing's being done. Scott says he supports the bill with a caveat. It will be effective if it actually goes through prosecution and someone's held accountable. But if it's the, okay, it's in place, we slap their hands, let them go, it's not going to change. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.